Maybe. <laughs> you think he'll be able to learn? It took me many years to learn how to French braid. I actually learned how to French braid on myself first from being in gymnastics for so many years because you had to put your hair up. And you don't want to put it in a ponytail at the back because when you're doing rolls and stuff, then you hit your ponytail and it's uncomfortable. So um, I learned how to French. I think I was like eight when I learned how to French braid my own hair. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And so I've had lots of practice. And so once you can do it to yourself backwards and upside down, then it's super easy to do it to someone else. But um, yeah, this is advanced level braiding. You're jumping right into it. Have you ever done a regular braid? <laughs> Hey everybody! <laughs> hey everybody! Do, 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 do. So we're just getting going oh, for the day. Weird. That's weird. What's weird? It says how many people are on is 419, and I only see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I only see 11 of them. Well, it's because there's only 11 people that are speaking, but there's lots of people watching. So we're just getting going for the day. And I got dressed. She wants to make another one of those um, fun fact videos, right? Yep. And, and reels. So she got dressed up today in her sparkly dress. I want to see my earrings. And uh, she wanted me to French braid her hair. And I told her that Erin asked me the other night to learn how to braid her hair. So I was like, we should do a live and teach Erin how to French braid your hair. And she was like, let's do it. <laughs> So here we are. We're going to learn how to do this. I'm going to pull up comments on my phone because the way the laptop's positioned, I can't see you guys. So give me one second to do that. Hey, guys. Hi. Kelly says I got my mug yesterday, and I love it. Cool. Yay. What, which one did you get? The, is it a Radiate Joy mug or a Kind People Do Beautiful Things mug? What would you get? Is there a Delete the White Ives mug? Louise says, hey, Anna, I have a Dutch braid today. Ooh, I'm not sure what a Dutch braid Whoa, is. We'll have to learn that one. I'm intrigued. A Dutch braid? Marcy says, love your earrings. Thank you. Brandy says, hello, precious Anna. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Cool. Oh, Diane says, I'm here to learn. Yay, more people are going to learn how to French braid. <laughs> Do a fishbone braid? Hold on, Heidi. Let's take it one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time. Okay, so first let's talk about regular braiding. We'll just do a regular braid first, um, so you can learn about pleating. Pleat, like, like P -L -E -A -T, don't, pleat, pleating. Don't don't put the actual like hair tie. I'm not gonna put the hair tie in. You just you just be a mannequin, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend you're on set getting your hair done. All right, so braid the the basics of a braid is that you have three pieces right mm -hmm. um here grab these three pieces so you're gonna put this in one hand and then you're gonna put this in the other hand and this middle piece you're going to be passing back and forth so you want to keep them separated hold on one second i have to deal with this paper so can i can i um, okay can i can i teach him too um, I can teach him. I can, it's I hard can to teach him. To one. Yeah, so. let me let me go over it with him. Okay, so I'll do some. You do some. Okay. What uh, you're gonna do you is you're going to cross over the top, and so then you're gonna transfer this piece to this hand, and this piece to the front of that hand. Okay, so this to this. Yeah, you're switching these places because you're crossing this over. So transfer this right. Yep, into that hand. And then transfer that into that hand. Anna, can you turn your head a little bit more so they can see what he's doing? A little bit more this way. You come over here. Okay. And then same thing, cross this side over that side. This is your middle piece now. So you cross your left over the middle. Grab that. Move that one over. Nope, nope, nope. Not yet. Not yet. You're jumping ahead of yourself. Just crossing that one. And now, now pull it, pull it, pull them together. So you want to make sure that it's nice and snug. And then, like you were already doing, pass this piece over the middle. Grab that one, pull it nice and snug. Now, this piece over the middle. He's a natural, you guys. I'm telling you what. Keep doing that back and forth. But make sure you're pulling in between so that it's nice and snug up here. 
because that's where your braid is going to be taking shape do you see it yeah yeah so we'll let him practice with practice with this for a minute honey can you turn your head this way so they can see what he's doing <laughs> Karen says, hi, Anna, you are so pretty. Do you think long hair is a lot of fun? Yeah. Look at that, you guys. He's getting it. He's getting it. Keep going, baby. Just pull downward, too. So it's, so it's, and then, and then try not to tangle up the other hair, the other hair in there. It's hard. You keep it just these, it is, it's hard, but you get used to it. It's really about getting a, a good grip on those pieces of hair so that they're straight down and you're not bunching them up. Jean says, Anna, when I was your age, my mom put my hair in French braids also. She used to put ribbon through it. Ooh, we haven't done that yet. Sharon says, wow, he got it right away. Kay says, great job, Aaron. Thank you. Peg says, Aaron is an artist. So, yes, a complete natural. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what the final prod product looks like. <laughs> it looks like an abstract art piece. <laughs> Marcy says, I had a feeling Aaron would catch on quickly. <laughs> Well, he is. All right, can you make sure you're pulling downward. Don't don't let it bunch up. And you don't need, yeah, there you go. Okay, so does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Tell me when you feel comfortable moving on to the next step. Angela says, did you get married? Did we get married? I think so. I think we did. I think that's what we did that day. You think so? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Anna? I think so too. <laughs> we have we have matching rings right now to prove it. <laughs> there is a video, Anastasia. Uh, Anna wore a GoPro on her head for the ceremony, <laughs> and so there is video, and I did finally get it onto my phone. I just haven't edited it yet. Edited it yet. Edited it. I need to edit it. Edit it. What? And make sure I don't look ginormous. And those hearts. Lynn says, I think Aaron is a superhero and can do anything. <laughs> I wish. You know, there, there's not, I can't think of any things I've had you do since you've been with us that you haven't been able to do. If I put my mind to it, I think I'd eventually, like I'd, I'd just have to were those four, try. Were those four dots heart pins? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you got it. So, pull that out. Go ahead and, go ahead and okay. let it out. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Wait, can I see that? Can you see it? Cool. <laughs> you did it. Nice. Lisa, how did I miss the marriage? I don't know because we post every single day. Are you are you making a point of coming to the page every day and looking for content? Because Facebook has stopped notifying yeah. people. Facebook stopped sending out notifications back in mid-November. So if you are not getting your notifications every single day, you're going to want to ch double check your follow settings. And you're also going to want to come to the page every single day for like two or three weeks and comment on every single post. And then Facebook finally might start giving you notifications again. They're very difficult. And Anne said, after all, he's a groomer. <laughs> I trained on dogs, yes. Do you want him to shave your head while he's at it? <laughs> Shave your foot paws, your foot pads. <laughs> All right. So, are we reset? Yeah, sit forward, a... Nope. Sit forward, please. Sit forward, please. Because this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Okay. Put your arm down. We need. We need the space. Your head back. Okay. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna start at the front though so we're going to make three pieces of hair at the front here one in the middle one on each side right so pretty much you take like like that like you see how that's the front and the sides yeah you take that swath of hair and you divide it into your three sections 
that look too much over here. Yeah, how do you determine what, how we, much to grab? You just there? eyeball it. I mean, I, I just I just do like basically it's the comb width for the most part. Uh, okay. And then and then you don't want to go too far back because it'll just be too thick. It'll be pulling up too much hair. So that's about how I usually start. So then you take your right side and your left side and your middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Grab those. And start your braid. Go ahead and do your first two. So right side over, left side over. Make sure you pull it up so it gets up here. Yeah, do your left side over. So with a French braid, you have to um, keep everything really snug and tight, which is why she often makes funny faces while I'm braiding her hair, <laughs> because you really got to you gotta tighten it down as much as you can. And you want to try and keep it in the center of her head. You're a little bit too far right right now. So pull it over the center. There you go. And pull it up a little bit more. Okay. So now grab this piece in this hand. Good. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take this finger. So hold the, hold the hair in these fingers because you need your pointer finger. And with your pointer finger, you're going to grab another section of hair. So scrape from the front here, scoop up another section of hair and add it to that piece. Like all the way down? No, like, like to here. Just add that together, okay. kind of use your fingers to manipulate it and get it into a nice chunk where it doesn't have. Does this become one? Mm -hmm. It becomes one. And then you're going to fold that whole section over your middle. Gotcha. Sorry, Anna. This is pulling your hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy says, Anna makes a great mannequin. Good job, Anna. <laughs> okay. Pull it to the middle. Yes, pull it over the middle. Just like, uh -oh. just, nope, right over here. just the middle piece. Yep, yep. Now tighten it down. Tighten it down and grab that middle, grab the, make the middle a little bit more tight. Make that whole big middle piece more tight. And then grab it up all up in your right hand, except that left piece. So you got your right piece and your middle piece should be in your, your right hand. Right here. Yes. But, but don't, but, but don't keep it up that. close so it's tighter. Keep your hand up. There you go. Sorry. So I keep the far right piece in my middle finger and then the middle piece in my pointer finger. Like this? You no, know, the opposite of what you're doing. The far right piece in the middle finger further away from where you need it. Yeah. Now you're going to do the same thing on the left side. You're going to transfer that into your middle finger. You're going to use your pointer finger to scoop up about the same pleat of hair, same size. Yep. Put it together, and then you're going to pass that over the middle section. <laughs> Mallory says, are you hurting, AMC Princess Anna? <laughs> are you hurting, baby? No. Good. Okay, so we're going to pass it over the middle section, over the top of the middle piece, transfer the middle piece. Wait, I've lost it. These pieces. You have two pieces there. Can you find it? Got it? There yep. you go. The middle piece is the smaller one. There you go. Tighten it all down so you keep the pieces separate. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why are you doing this? It's crazy. <laughs> like, okay, I'm over Cheryl it. says, ooh, a French braid is tricky for a beginner. When did you guys get married, Candy? We got married on December 22nd. Jean says, now I know why I didn't get it. I don't have the patience. <laughs> You're doing good. You holding up, Anna? Yeah. Okay, so now you've done it once. Now it's just the same thing over again. So just get your get a good grip on your pieces so they're not all wispy and floating everywhere. Transfer it to your middle part of your hand so you can use your pointer finger. And grab another section of hair. Yeah, right above her ear there. Pull it all up together. Use your fingers to. You gotta, you gotta have finger dexterity for this. Digital dexterity. Digital, <laughs> digital dexterity. <laughs> you gotta 
kind of, yeah, your hands need to stay up closer to her scalp. Makes it easier. Susan says, so awesome. Erin is willing to try and learn. And Anna is so patient. Mm -hmm. She is, because I know she's uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. Are you okay? Okay. All right. So now you're going to pass that whole big piece over that middle piece and transfer them. Right over the top. Switch them and then get it nice and snug so everything stays together. Pull all three pieces nice and snug every time you transfer. So grab that in the middle of your hand. Get that in your yep, pointer fingers. And then go to the other side, do the same thing. This is so tough. <laughs> You're doing great, though. You really are. Patience and persistence. Absolutely persistence perfect. pays off. Yep. Yeah, you can use your middle finger if that's easier for you. However, it, it's comfortable. Grab, grab all the way down to her ear so you get the same section of hair. And just, and just straight back from the side. Linda says, I could never accomplish French braids. Way to go, Aaron. Well, we haven't seen it what it's going to look like. Yet. So <laughs> let's not jump the gun on compliments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Melissa has Melissa has a good point. Slightly damp would, would make it a little easier to hold. We don't have a spray bottle, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, definitely something you can try again after a bath. Yeah. Okay, what happened? This piece goes over here. See it? And hold on, did you, you pulled up this piece, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you added it to the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, oh, we lost it. <laughs> <laughs> we lost it. Um, what happened? I don't know. Let's see if, let me see if I can get it back. Can you salvage it? Uh, no. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Are you do you want to watch me do it real quick so you yeah, can just yeah, see the, yeah. the flow of it? Yeah. I can't put my head down anymore. Oh, that's okay. I can do it with she your head straight up. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So. You okay? You got your three main pieces. You start braid with those three. So, see, I like to hold them in, in one hand, mm. but it takes some practice. You grab just a, a pleat, like a like a narrow section from front to back, and it go it automatically goes right into that mm -hmm. that side, right? Here, turn your head a little bit this way, baby, so they can see too. And then Erin can see here. You know what? Let me scoot you back. And then I can stand here. And then they can see there. And then Erin can see there. Okay. So you go that side like that. And see how now I have the middle section in between my thumb and my forefinger. And I'm kind of holding it in place with my middle finger. And the right section is tucked in my fingers back there. And now I have this part free, right? So I'm going to grab this hair here, scoop it all up together. So you can tuck it over this finger to hold it, and then you can use this hand to kind of straighten, right? Whoop. And so now that this is tucked over here, so look, the right side is still in these two fingers. Mm -hmm. The left side is now over my middle finger. And now I can grab this middle section, I can clear the hair away from it and grab the middle section, right? And see how it's all right there? So you keep your hands close to her head and you keep the braid tight. Now look, now I've got the left section in these two fingers and I'm pinching this together and I've got this side free because now I'm working on this side, right? Does that make sense? 
Sort of. Sort of. This is why I, I know you're you're a very uh, hands-on learner, yeah. so that's why I was having you feel it first. Yeah. But it's it's a lot of repetition at that point. You know, once you get the the handhold. Can I turn this way? Real quick. Why you got a tear? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are your eyes dry? Holding back the okay. tears. <laughs> On. You turn your head back. Okay. All right. So again, when you when you get the side, you can grab it in, tuck it in there, hold the middle section. So we're, it, honestly, I think it's a matter of figuring out how to hold. Yeah, because I was getting a, like figuring out trying to all the hair in between that was getting kind of open. Separate yeah, that's why you need to, to the, the, that's why you got to figure out how to hold all three pieces in one hand yeah. so you can clear yeah. your space with your other hand. And then, like I said, at, at that point, it's just a lot of repetition, getting everything together until you get to the bottom. Oops, sorry, honey, it's stuck in here. And then once you get to the bottom, then you just go back into a traditional braid to finish. Oh, it goes back to normal. Like how many times do you just when you get to the end of where her hair I missed that piece when you get? Yeah, when you get to the end where there's no more hair to pick up, then you go back. Then to you normal. just go into a regular braid. Wow. See? Wow. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> try again. Try. One more time. I'll One more try. time. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> Um, Stephanie says, thanks guys for the earworm. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you know, what's really fun too. Let me show you real quick. So this is even more fun. Head back. So if you do a French braid, I can't get my head back just for a second, baby, do the same exact thing, right? You start with your three pieces, but instead of going over, you go under. I do. It's a reverse. It's a, oh, sorry. <laughs> Grab. I'm taking your eyeball. <laughs> I'm gonna take my, you, have um, to, you have to take my eyeball and then put it in and stick it in my hair so that way it can move over and stuff. Yeah, so every time, every time you, you bring every time the hair you take back, your eyeball. you tuck it under instead of over. It's a reverse braid. What does that do? I'll show you. to do it fast because it's probably boring to sit and watch braiding. <laughs> braiding. Uh. After, after after this, I'm going to make my own video of me braiding daddy's hair. Oh, are you? You're going to make a video <laughs> braiding Aaron's hair. Yeah. That's great. That will be a fun one. That's so I can you did a video a long time ago doing my hair and makeup. Remember that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I was I was gonna make you look look cool. You did make me look cool. You put a heart on my cheek, a <laughs> blush heart. It's very sweet. Mhm. See, blush. if you braid it backwards, see what happens. Whoa. Here, turn around, show them. If you go under instead of over, then you end up with a three D braid. Can you take a picture so I can see? I can't because <laughs> I'm on the live on my phone. We'll take a picture. But I can show you later. I can always do it again. So do you want to try that one? Or you want to uh, stick with the over? Let's try the regular one first okay. before I start branching. <laughs> before you start getting all fancy. Yeah. <laughs> You, sh- you should do it. You should do the regular French braid. Nana, you can French braid Aaron's hair. I have done that. I have French braided his hair. Sorry. No. Here. Sand- Excuse me. Sandy says, "Sorry, can't <coughs> can't stay long." Oh, that's okay. Thanks for popping in. You always come back. Or you can replay, hashtag replay. You can watch it back later. Sandy says we're we're doing family turkey soup. Oh, nice. Cool. Have a great time. Enjoy your family. 
the three Louise says the three D the three D braid. Yes, that's the Dutch braid. Oh, that's a Dutch braid. Okay, cool. You knew how to do it already. It just didn't work. I didn't know it was called the Dutch braid. Yeah. Got to go back to work. Have a good day, Kathleen. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Straight, straight forward. Put your face forward I so he can't. can come. I'm stuck. You're stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to rotate your body then? Yeah. Here. Rotate Maybe it this say, way. This way so they can see and he can get behind you. Okay. Debbie says, getting lots of practice for the hairdresser chair on movie set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm hmm definitely sandy says i'm learning along with aaron vicky says thanks for the tutorial on french braids no problem okay so you got your top of your hair so you're going to divide it into three sections okay so we got a little bit too much on the bottom here hold on hold it up the way you have it we want to go flat across here And then make sure it's all up and down so you're not tangling yeah pieces make like set make sure you get a good separation so make sure you know if they're pulling up then take them up uh, if they're hanging down and that's why it's good to use the comb for this part so you can get a good part so it's very separated and not some pieces going every which way sheila says ouch mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay anna yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I have that stuck in my head too. You're welcome. <laughs> oh boy. Now what's stuck in your head? The song. Bridget says, I love your lives. So entertaining. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, nobody's gonna want to watch her braid her hair, but you guys, you guys enjoy it, then that's great. <laughs> Braiding is so complex. Erin is doing so well, Adam says. I would never be able to get it. You would. It just takes it takes practice. You, it's really a lot just about the hand holding. You just have to get used to what you're doing with your hands. Once you get the hand holding down, it becomes pretty simple. I mean, the mechanics of it are pretty simple, you know. Judith says, Anna's head may be a bit sore after all this pulling. Oh, no, Judith. She is so used to having her hair done. Are you kidding? I've been doing her hair since she had hair. I've been trying to do her hair since before she had hair. And she didn't have any hair until she was like two and a half. She was a ball baby. <laughs> She's very used to this. Is this. Aren't you, Anna? Mm -hmm. She sits for long periods of time. How do you think her hair gets done up the way it is all the time? She has to sit and I have to do it. So she's definitely used to it. Okay, so you want to go to the middle of her head. Where's your face? It should be straight ahead, please. <clears throat> Separate it into three sections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should do like, so what, what you have to do in order to get three sections. Yeah, Janie had a good idea. I'm going to get you a little bit of water. That might help. So it's not so frizzy. Thank you, Janie. It's a good idea. Water, water. Okay. Okay, so your middle section should be should be all one. Right straight down um, the middle. Anna, you got your head straight? Try to hold it in one spot, okay? So he You divide the hair. Keep your head straight, please. Hannah? It's straight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look like you're looking to the right. I am looking to the right with my eyeballs, but not my head. <laughs> Okay, put your head back a little bit, please. 
Thank you. Okay. So see, this is going to be the middle section, right? All that whole front piece. So you just pull away your right side, pull away your left side. That's it. See how easy that is? So you don't even have to move your hands around. You just literally use your fingers to grab. No, don't even worry about that. I was just showing you that for a visual. So with your with your right hand, just take your pointer finger in thumb and grab a section. And with your left hand, take your pointer finger and thumb. All right, there you go, three pieces. So then just get a good grip on them. Make sure you're up kind of close to her head. <clears throat> yeah, don't 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 curl it up like that. We'll let it let it let it be one straight piece. You're just holding it here. You want to hold them nice long straight pieces. All right, and then go over middle. Bridget says, I think Aaron's doing great. Thank you. <laughs> go, go over the middle. Yep. Switch that piece, switch sides. That's going to go all the way to the right. And this is now your middle piece. So remember what I was showing you. Hold this, hold this right piece with these two fingers. Get these fingers out of there. Get this finger out of there. Hold the middle piece with those two fingers. Or with your just your um, middle finger, maybe. Okay, however that works for you. And then you can hold this piece with this finger and your thumb. And then you can come over here. Hold, just hold them. Just put, put it in there. Hold it. And you can come over here and grab your next piece. And you can put it in between your, you want to come all the way back like that. So just hook. Hold on, hold on. So where are you starting? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to come straight back. There you go. Grab that piece up. Stick it in between your pointer finger and your thumb. Just stick it right in there. Take your hand. Scoop, scoop it back. And then once you have it all, you might want to take, do you see how this bows upward? Yeah. So you might want to take this bit out of there. Lay it back down. Brush it. Take it all down. Down with your hands. Get you wet again. Okay, good. So now that you've got your left side, take it back with this hand. The left piece. Are you like, yeah, are, take are it back. You, are you doing front break? Come back to the center of her head. Front break or regular break? This right now. So now you're taking this piece over your middle piece. Oh. French braid. French braid. Sorry, oh. me. Over the middle piece. Bring this piece far this way. There you go. Yes. Now tuck that in your bottom two fingers. Free up your other fingers. Grab the center piece. And now you gotta do yep, tuck it in your middle finger. So bottom two. No, 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 no. Keep them on the top, bottom two. Tuck this on top of your middle finger. And then this finger is going to hold your right piece between your thumb and your pointer while you grab the other side. Like this? Yes. Now grab your right side. Same thing. Just go straight back. <laughs> he's doing great. I know, I know it looks tedious, but he's doing great. Okay. So bring that piece and tuck it in with your pointer and thumb and then use your hand to make sure it's combed back. Did you put my foot up on this on this thing? No, the other one. Up on, no, put my foot up on there so I can push it because it's hurting. Okay. It's hurting me to push. Okay. It's going to be too far back. Oh, sorry. I thought you wanted to scoot back. I mean, you want your foot up on the stool, on the bench? Yes. Yeah. Just because it's hurting. You got it? It's hurting. Your foot's hurting? Yeah. Do you want me to loosen your? You want me to loosen your um, AFO, or is it good? You good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now take this back in your right hand. Take your right side back in your right hand. Take this. Yep. Just take it. Take it back. Keep keep these. You need to keep these crossed tight to her head. So you want to keep your hands up. 
multiplier. And now you're crossing the right side over the middle. So transfer those two pieces. Yep, hook it in your bottom fingers, pass this one over to the middle. Don't blend those. Those are two separate pieces. Take the middle this piece. This is one piece, sorry. This is one piece and it should be in your bottom fingers because it's the last thing you're doing right now. And that should be in the middle. Okay. Now tighten everything down. Hey Anna, turn your head a little more this way. Dad, can I put my head straight now? Yes, you can. Okay, so now you want to tuck this piece in your bottom two fingers. Okay. Grab the center piece with your middle finger. Keep, keep everything, keep everything tight. Keep everything tight up. <laughs> you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Just keep everything snug. Pull, pull them. You're, you're, you're moving your hands up and you're loosening it. So you want to keep them down tight in your hands, all pieces. And you want to keep your hands up to the top of the braid. You see how that stays tighter? Okay. Now put this in between your finger and your thumb to hold it in place while you grab this side. Whew. Carlos says the look of concentration on his face is priceless. <laughs> We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Huh, Anna? Mm -hmm. He's going to get it. Show me your... He's going to get it. Someday. Someday. Okay. So now... Include that with your with your piece that you're holding in your thumb and your pointer. Mm. That's your left side. Include that with your left side. Touch these together. Yep. Okay. Use your hand to make sure it's all up the way you want it, and then get it back to this hand. Get it back to what you. This give hand. it. Give it back to the free hand. We keep your keep your hands close to the top. You grab your little switch of hair. Okay, so you should have three distinct pieces. You have this piece. Let go. Sorry, baby. This is your left side. So grab this with your left hand. Tuck it in those bottom two fingers. I need to stand up for something. Do you? Mm -hmm. Need to stand up for a second? Okay. I mean, I need to stand up for a while. You need to stand up for a while? Yeah. Okay, let me do two more sweeps with him, and then I'll let you down. How's that sound? Okay, so this is your middle piece. Yep. This is your right piece. Once you finish it, can I get so down? So you just finished. And so now you're going to hold this with your middle finger. You're going to temporarily hold your right piece right while you grab another right piece. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Now grab another right piece and add it to that. Get everything above her ear. Donna says, brave man. Yep, tuck it right in, pull it all together, comb it, comb it together, make sure it's straight. Don't, don't let it be puffy like that. Straighten everything down. Ouch. Ouch. Comb, comb it back with your hand. So it all comes together, even through your fingers, all the way through to the bottom. Now put that piece back in your right hand. Okay. Put it in your bottom two fingers. Ow. Hurts. Separate your pieces apart so you can see what you got going on. Right. All right, and now you're going to cross that over the middle. This is crazy. <laughs> this is getting crazy. <laughs> You're doing great. Just tighten it all down together. Pull it all together. Okay, so let's pretend you're at the end since Anna needs to get down now. And so take. No, you can keep going until you're done. Are you sure? I, don't think yeah. I, can keep I thought going. you wanted to stand up here. Your body needs to be behind her. You're too crooked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I thought you wanted to get down, baby. It's okay. You're good? Yeah. Okay, so, so tighten your pieces up. You're too loosey goosey. No loosey gooseys. 
this is this is this is your this is your left face got it I think so this is your right piece that you just passed over right yeah. and that and that and that well that's now your right piece this is your middle now that you passed it over do you see yeah. you see the three pieces yeah. okay so just keep it keep keep your hands up hands up keep it pulled in the see how loose this is they can't be loose you got to tighten that down you got to get those fingers up there and hold it tighter okay so now hold this in the bottom two fingers just because it's in the bottom two fingers doesn't mean it doesn't need to be tight just keep your hand up there and tighten it down hold this in your middle finger nope that's not your middle finger <laughs> Bring your pointer finger over the top. You need it. Hold this in there. Grab oh. everything above her ear. Yeah. We're getting close, Anna Banana. We're getting close. How far are you tilting? A lot. Kim, uh, sitting on the floor isn't going to make a difference. It hurts her to sit on the floor for a while, too. She is good. Okay. Yes, he's almost done, Anna. He only has a couple more pieces to pull in. Okay, so stop moving that way. Anna, turn your head straight. I can't go up. Okay, so this is your left piece, right? So grab that piece back that you just added to. So separate your pieces so you can see you can see what's going on before you move on. So you, you can see this is the middle piece, right? Keep everything tight. Now you're gonna no 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 no. You're passing over the middle, so you're trading this with this. With this. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Yep. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now pull everything to the center straight down. Tighten it up. Now get, nope, nope. Don't bunch them up. Don't bunch them up. That's where you're, that's where you're messing up. Don't bunch them. Keep them long and straight. Keep them in the right fingers. There you go. Put this one in the middle in your middle finger. Middle pleat goes in the middle finger. There you go. And then now that one. Okay, so you've got all your pieces. So you just did this side, right? Put this in between your two fingers. Bottom two fingers, because it's furthest away, because you just, just did it, so you're done with it. Middle section, middle finger. Tighten it all down. Keep it all tight, keep it all tight. There you go. There you go. Tighten it down. Tighten, tighten. <laughs> this is the last one. I can't it's getting, it's getting too, too much for me. It's good. It's good. Wait, what is this? this you is take, you take, that, that's your left side. That's your left side. So that's the one you're holding far away now. And then the middle. But I can't in. get get it tight enough. Mm -hmm. Cause you gotta cross them, cross them over each other. He is doing great, Kathy. It, it's definitely just gonna take practice, honestly. It's it's just a matter of of practicing. It's not that you can't get it. It's just getting comfortable with the handholds. Where's this one? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let me see. Really, you you've made, look how far. So 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 if you Anna, turn your head down. I can't. I can't. I can't. If it's tight, then you can see how far you went. Here, show them. He did all that. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. You did good. Well, That's good for a first, first, first try. First time. first time. He's doing great. All right. Well, you want me to you want to get down and I can I can braid it over there so you can do your video. Yeah. We can say goodbye to everybody for now and take a break. <laughs> Goodbye, 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 everybody. Do, 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 do. Good job, Aaron. Thanks. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.